Well, I think I think obviously you see where the game's headed, and um, you know there's a lot of lot of smart people that uh, obviously they think people could do that do that job. So I mean, um, it all depends on what you're looking for and who who's running who's running the uh, all the you know the, the people up top who's running everything. So, um, but I think it's good for the game. I mean, it's the way the game's going. Well, I think the, I think uh, if you look back three or four years, the players have been accepting already. I mean, it's part part of the game. So uh, analytics is here, and uh, there's a lot of information all over. So um, and they're using it. You know, I know our players use it. Uh, other teams have used it, and uh, everybody has their own different different philosophies and theories. Well, you know, Mike and and the staff and the ownership has actually given me a pretty good uh, Christmas so far. So. Um, you know, as of right now, I mean, we're, we're in great shape. We really are. I know uh, Mike's going to do his best to, you know, to keep improving our team. And, uh, but, you know, we've got three unbelievable horses. You know, you've got Tanner coming back. Uh, you know, we've got Joe. Hopefully he's healthy. Uh, Fetty fighting for a fifth starter spot right now. So um, we're looking good. You know, with all the additions we got, bullpen, two catchers, uh, I'm looking forward to spring training. Well, absolutely. I think it, I think two things. It'll, it'll lead to more wins. Also, uh, if you look to see what we're doing, we're trying to get more athletic. And uh, you know, we got you know younger younger players coming up. We you know, we got two catchers that that can move pretty good. Um, you got Robles. You got Michael. You got Eaton, who's going to be healthy. Uh, Soto moves pretty good. You know, in left field. So. Uh, we're just trying to get a little bit more athletic and uh, and, and change the way the game. You know, I, we talked a lot about uh, going to spring training and, and and really honing in on fundamentals. Uh, we lost a lot of games last year with run, one run. And if you look back, you know, giving teams 28, 29, 30 outs, uh, I think that's the difference. And um, we got to get better at it. How do you go about doing that? What are you implementing in spring training drills-wise or, or preparation-wise to try and well, we're going to do a lot more of, of uh, team fundamentals. You know, everybody, you know, hey, and I, hey, I was a player too at one time. So when you go to spring training, all you want to do is hit, 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 you know. But I think this year we're going to break it down a little bit. And um, we may not hit one day and just do all uh, team stuff, you know, uh, situational baseball and things like that. So um, we're, looking to all, we're looking at all these things. We're trying to figure out the best way to do it, keep guys engaged. And, uh, but you're definitely going to see more of a fundamental uh, approach, you know, on our end. Well, we saw a lot. We saw a lot of it towards the end of, of last year. We got about guys spreading their le legs out a little bit more and just trying to put the ball in play and stay in the middle of the field, and it, it kind of worked. Um, so we're going to do more of that kind of stuff. Like I said, do put guys in situations where there's two strike hitting, getting guys in third base, less than two outs, uh, infield in, infield back, and, and just and just continually working, putting in the back, the forefront of their mind that hey, this is what we're going to do. Um, a lot of times, you know, we get guys on, on third base, we can't drive them in. You know, but we just, we want to kind of move the ball in those situations. You know, for, for me, you know, it's uh, I learned two things. As a coach, you know, players would come to you and ask for advice, and and you had, communicate, talk. When I became a manager, um, you try to open those lines of communication, but a lot of times, you know, I had to go find the players. Um, they more kind of sat down. I, I remember, you know, I told a story this morning about how I'd walk around the outfield and just to talk to players. And as I was walking, a lot of guys would kind of, you know, turn, kind of turn. Oh, oh, here comes the manager. What's going on? You know, like, and I was like, hey, I'm, all I'm here to, is to have a conversation. So, um, you know, I want to keep improving my my uh, communication skills with players and uh, really, really hone in on like the everyday. Uh, you know, what we can do better as not just as a, as a manager, as a coach, staff, to help our players understand the information that they're gathering. It really, I mean, because there's a lot of information out there. How we use it uh, is important. You can't just give guys information and expect them to understand it. I mean, we really got to teach it.
You know, I don't know if, it, you know, like I said, we're, look, for me right now, we're, we're getting more athletic. So we're, we're going to do a lot more different things, whether it's, you know, hitting and running, uh, bunting a little bit more. Um, but we're fundamentally, like I said, we're fundamentally going to learn how to play the game and play the game right. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. And I, I think we have the players that are capable of, one, hitting the ball at the ballpark still, and two, just hitting doubles and, and bunting and doing all kinds of different things. You know, I like it. I really do. I mean, um, you know, granted, you know, uh, uh, and I'm not going to say we're losing Harp because, like, the door is still open. But if he's not back, um, I like the way we set up right now. I really do. I mean, uh, and like I said, we're, uh, we're super athletic. we got some young players, exciting players. You know, I can't wait to see Robles in spring training and just kind of let him play. You know, and, and people keep forgetting it. we got a pretty good outfielder, Michael Taylor, uh, who I love. And um, he's in winter ball right now playing. So, uh, you know, hopefully he hones down in the swing, he puts the ball in play, and he'll help us out a lot. Man, man I, I would, you know, ultimately you have your catcher, backup catcher. I would like a, a, a good left-handed hitter that maybe could hit the ball out of the ballpark. Uh, good utility player that could play all over, could run a little bit. Um, and I know those are pieces that you know, that are out there that we're still looking at. And, um, and like I said, Mike is always trying to improve. So uh, this is not, you know, this is by far is not over, but we had, we had a great head start. Well, well some of the things were, you know, the defense, you know, not, not being able to turn double plays. Um, and those things we got, we got to, we really got to get better at that, you know. And uh, and the other thing is too, like you know, we talk, we look back at our pitching. Our pitching was pretty good, you know. But oh, two strikes, we we led the league in giving up homers, you know. Um, we got, we got, we got, we got to clean that up. I mean, that can't happen, especially with the pitching staff we have. Um, and we're, we're gonna, we're gonna get bad, better at that. We're gonna be more convicted on how to get outs with two strikes, and not give up so many home runs. Absolutely, you know, uh, adding uh, any Patrick Corbin, you know, uh, with with Scherzer and, and Strasburg. I mean, you know, those are three uh, pretty good horses. If we get hone in on our defense, which our defense wasn't awful, but like I said, in those one run games, it was significant. And uh, if we could if we could turn those double plays in those situations, you know, that's that's if if you look at it, you know, half the games that we played, if we'd win half those games, uh, the one run games. Would have been a whole different story last year. How, well, how, do, how did we know Soto was going to be our everyday left fielder? I mean, you know, you just got to let him go out there and play, and uh, he'll dictate pretty much how much he's going to play. I mean, really. Uh, we got Soto last year. Um, I sat with Riz in the office thinking, you know, we'll play him against righties. We'll give him days off, play him two or three times a week. And, you know, I put him in first game and never took him out. And I had to beg him to get one day off, and he drove me nuts that one day. So I put him back in there and never took him out again. <laughs> what was your reaction when you heard you guys were signed back to Colton? I, I can't really do a cartway right here. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was pretty, like I said, it was an early Christmas present. And I spoke to him. He's really excited to be here. And, um, you know, not only the player that you're getting, but the person that you're getting, you know, he, he fits really well with what we're trying to do. And uh, I mean, I, I'm excited to see him in, in uniform, see him in spring training, and see him interact with, you know, Scherz and Strauss and all the players. How are your cartwheels <sighs> I got to work on it. <laughs> I thought it would be a lot better, but <laughs> it was, it was kind of ugly, actually. <laughs> Hey, I'll tell you right now, like, for me, we got two guys right now that, and um, we kind of used them as an example towards the end of the year. One was Anthony Rendon, who with two strikes, just really used the middle of the field. 
and the other guy was a 19-year-old uh, was Soto. You now Soto get the two strikes and spread his legs out, and all he wanted to do was just make contact. He wasn't trying to hit home runs. He was just trying to put the ball in play. And, uh, and we, we told some of our other players, hey, just watch what they do, you know, and they, and they started doing it and they started getting better at it. So um, these guys can help. I mean, Juan is different. He really is. Man, I never seen a 19-year-old kid break down uh, pitching and his hitting and mechanics uh, like he does. Um, he's, he's a special kid, and Anthony – Anthony's Anthony. You know, I, I've always said this from the other side, watching him play, that he's a really good player. Now that I got to see him play every day, he's one of the best players in, ba in baseball. He really is. So um, those two guys in the middle of our lineup and moving the ball around, I mean, and, and getting Zim back. You know, Zim's a professional hitter. When he's healthy, um, last year I know when he played, I mean, his, his OPS was over 800. So we just got to keep him healthy. And he's that guy, kind of guy, too, that uses the whole field. What about on the pitching side? Well, on the pitching side, you know, like I said, we got – we got three guys that are incredible. Tanner, you know, started off, he had three months where he was good, three months where he was bad. Um, hopefully we get the three months, you know, that he was good all year next year. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to that. And he's a smart guy. So I know he's going to, he's going to, you know, he picks Scherzer's brain. He's picked Strauss's brain. So, uh, you know, hopefully he comes back next year and pitches like he's capable of pitching. Gosh, it's, man, I, you know, you, I, I don't know about a group, but you just look at guys that made a, uh, an impact real quick, like a Trout, even a Harper at 19. You know, when, when he came up, I mean, he was, he was unbelievable. I mean, um, you know, uh, Barry Bonds, you know, when he came up, you know, at a young age, I mean, he, you know, he was unbelievable. But uh, to see those guys, uh, to do, see what they did this year, and, uh, and even, like, you know, the power numbers and just moving the balls, it's really, really, really fun to see, watch these young guys play the way they played. Yeah, you know what? When I saw him in uh, when I saw him in spring training last year, I thought maybe he needed a little bit more time. Uh, he got hurt, obviously, but when he came back um, and I saw him play in September a little bit that he played, yeah, I really I really feel like this, that he's ready to play. He really is, and he just needs repetition, get out there and play. And uh, and I don't want him to do anything different. You know, we talked about that already with him. Just want him to go out there and play baseball and have fun. You know what, Chip's a great baseball man, very knowledgeable. He works good with veteran guys and young guys, um, and he gets it. I mean, he's, he's helped me out tremendously this year. Uh, we had a lot of great conversations, and, um, you know, I think, I think he deserves another chance. I really do. I mean, if I had to pick one guy out of all the guys I know, he's, he's the perfect guy for that job. He's very, you know, he's very patient, very adamant, loves what he does. Um, and, and, I mean, he can help that team and that organization grow. Yeah, ab hey, absolutely. Yeah, one thing about Chip is he'll he'll definitely come find you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you know, for me, it's, and we we talk about this, and I'll, I'll just throw out there: it's just just one more, you know, one more of everything, like one more strikeout, one more stolen base, one more walk, you know, things like that. I mean, if we can do that consistently. Well, you know, we're going to win a lot of ball games. We really are. Absolutely. You know, and I want them to be aware also, too, is when we score runs early, you know, we want to put teams away. You know, last year we, did, we, we didn't do that. We, could, we would score runs early and kind of let, let the other teams, like, linger. And next thing you know, you know, seventh inning, we're playing in a tie ball game. You know, if we had a chance to put a, put a team away, let's put them away early. You know, I don't, for me, it's, Bryce and, have a, Bryce and I have a very, very special relationship. And um, I don't, you know, I don't necessarily, I still see him, you know, in that uniform until he absolutely goes. Uh, like, like Riz said earlier, you know, 
the door's still open. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, he's got a tough decision to make. You know, we all know that. So the decision is his. You know, for for me, is is basically a you have a process, stick to it. You know, uh, the season go, kind of goes in waves. Uh, if you maintain, you know, what you want to do all year long, uh, you come out of it okay. You know, uh, you know, being that we you know we didn't get to where we wanted to be last year, I saw some really good positive things. Um, we had a lot of injuries, but without those injuries, we would have never saw Soto. You know, so and we would never saw the Sueros and the and the Corderos and see what what we have our depth wise. Um, so it, put, it pretty much put us in a position now to where we know what we needed, uh, we know what we have moving forward, and, and I think our future is really bright. Was there anything you just kind of warned them to watch out for in that first game? Or just like you know, hit balls or no. <laughs> everybody stay healthy? No, you know, it's funny. I just talked to Woody, Chris Woodward. Uh, we've been friends for a long time. and He says, well, what do you got? I said, what do you got? You know, I said, you've been doing, you've been a coach, you've been doing, hey, go out there and teach. I mean, that's what you do best, you know, teach and and you'll be all right. You'll be fine. Jimmy, I know ideally you want the clubhouse to be the players' room. When you look back at last year, how do you think you handled that from such one eye to the other? And when did you have the message of that? It was, hey, I think our clubhouse was really, really good. Really good. I mean, um, my door was never closed. My door was always open. They knew that. Uh, if I had to deliver a message, it typically would be one-on-one. -on -one. If I had to deliver it within a group, it wouldn't be in the clubhouse, it'd be outside or you know, kind of a, a loose atmosphere. I'm not big on meetings or, uh, or slamming doors or things like that. It's all about conversation. You know, for me, it's just about you know going out there and competing every day, being ready to compete. You know, take using information, preparing every day, and uh, compete. You know, don't take any don't take anything lightly. Like I said, a hey, do the little things, you know. We got to do the little things consistently better. And if we could do that, um, the talent is there. I mean, we all we all see that. We all know that. So we just got to do the little things. Wow. You know, for me, it's you know, hey, in this game. Uh, there's a lot of Latinos. Um, uh, f former players uh, that understand the game, they get the game, and it's, cl it's good to see that uh, we'll get an opportunity now to, to be able to manage in the big league level. Uh, I've known Charlie for a long time. Uh, he's a great manager in the minor leagues, was a really good coach, um, and he gets it, you know, and I I'm glad he got the opportunity. And as you know, Alex, you know, Alex first year, you know, goes, wins the World Series, so um, another good baseball man. So, you know, I'm, gl I'm glad we're getting a opportunity to, to manage in the big leagues and and uh and it's good for you know for guys that want to manage that are latins that uh, and have inspirations to manage anything else <laughs> okay well i'm staring you guys down you guys good you good over there yeah. okay hey. where is michael huh michael? he's in dominican, dominican. yeah He's played about, I think, three games now. Yeah, he's, yeah he just, just got, got there, there. Yeah. I might, I might actually go down there and watch him. Yeah. I yeah. Think he's got, uh, Get out of cold. Was that the plan all along? No, you know, he, yeah, no, he was going to go work with K Long, and K Long, we we asked him at the end of the year if he wanted to go play.